Hello, I am Sergeis and welcome to the NumCal part of the Mesh HRDF tutorial. In this video we will run the actual simulation and discuss how to detect and resolve any potential issues. For this part there are a lot of extra details in the written tutorial, so check it out as well. Again, this video became very long and complicated, but all you really need to do on Windows to run Mesh to HRF simulation is to double-click NumCalc Manager PI file, which has your project folders next to it. You double-click it, it will automatically detect your project folders and start executing them one by one while monitoring RAM usage and CPU usage. When this window prints out that simulation is complete, you close it and you move on to the next tutorial. That's it. Then, of course, there are many details which we will cover in the rest of this video. Let's look at the written tutorial. First of all, what is NumCalc? NumCalc is the solver or the actual code which runs the simulation. Mesh2HRTF is a complete package, but NumCalc is the heart of the Mesh2HRTF. Of course, it's important to install NumCalc, and if you follow the installation video at the beginning, then everything is already set up, and we are running everything on Windows, so again, there will be a bit of differences if you would execute it in a Linux command line, for example. Here you can see all the details about how to run NumCalc Manager, which executes a simulation, but we will do this live in a moment. And then comes the advanced NumCalc tips. There's a part about limiting simulation resource usage, which I'm going to do at the moment as well, because I need to record video and run simulation at the same time. And finally, there's a troubleshooting section. It's a rather long section, which covers a lot of different error messages, which we may run into. So let's look at the NumCalc Manager. First of all, NumCalc Manager is just a Python script, so you can open it as any text file. And for that, I would, on a basic level, suggest even a notepad. If you open it up, you can see that um, it has some user settings in the beginning. Normally, you just leave it all on defaults and run it. But uh, in this specific case, I want to limit the amount of CPU cores it's using or the amount of instances to, let's say, one. Okay, let's put it to two to show it, it'll be more interesting. And I need to remove the automatic set maximum instances. So I put that to false. There is a bit of extra information inside here, but all of this is really unnecessary for regular use. So all you need to do is run it. I double click it. In Windows, if you follow the installation as I did, the simple one, this is all you need to do. If you would be using Anaconda, then you need to run it from your Anaconda environment. Okay, so you can see the printouts. What it shows, it shows that it detected two projects to run. And when it started, on the first instance, it crashed. So that gets us to the troubleshooting part right away. So we go to the folder which it tried to run, the left project. We need to go to the numcalc, source1, and here is our output file for the last script. So the alt file is also a text file, so we can open it with notepad. And we can see that it crashed on the isolated node found. So this probably is related to that accidental splitted extra vertex which I created when editing the graded meshes. So now I will have to quickly go back and fix that problem and then show you the rest of the simulation running process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this project folder, open my test file, We are on the left mesh, we go into the edit mode. We need vertex mode because we suspect there is one loose vertex somewhere. I select some of this and I go to select, linked, and then I go select invert. 
and actually it doesn't work out of the box but here is scene statistics if you right click on around here and it shows that I have selected one vertex out of 26,000 so there is one vertex somewhere selected pressing delete right when you press delete it shows you the delete menu and here you need to select what do you want to delete vertices and now it's gone so I assume now I fixed the problem I exit from this I press ctrl s to save a file and uh, we need to re quickly re-export it so I will actually delete the other project folder go to scripting and quickly do the fast method export control V enter enter everything's good closing blender and we're back to running numcalc so you double click numcalc and see what's happening it's starting the instance it waits 15 seconds to initialize memory so it initialized it did not crash it means that that vertex did cause a problem and we fixed it so now it launched the second instance as well and I manually forced it to only use maximum two instances so that's what we see right now it says no more instances are allowed mesh to HRTF project left was the first one so we go into the left in the folder numcalc we actually have the simulation results by the numcalc source one is the usual folder and here we see the printouts which are already recognized as text files so the first one is this is the file which is written by numcalc and it does not say end time in the end so it means it has not finished yet in addition there is a log file which is a simply a dump of command line printouts it sometimes contains also useful information but most of the time it's not really needed it's enough to look only at one of them and here in the B out will eventually appear the results of the simulation so right now it's running and it will take quite some time for each step to calculate so we can actually take a look at some additional tips first of all it's recommended to check the first and see out files when the simulation has been started as you saw in the, in the first attempt it crashed immediately but uh, if you have some other issues in the model it can be running for quite a while and then after a period of time report back that the file has some issues that it cannot continue so it's always smart to wait long enough to see the first results out and then check that they are doing fine now the most important part is performance these simulations can take many many hours if you run them one or two at a time the best way to improve performance is multiply the amount of numcalc instances you can run and numcalc instances consume a lot of memory in fact the main drivers of memory consumption are the number of triangles in your mesh and also how high frequency you are simulating so the same mesh same simulation when it's simulating a step at 24,000 hertz will take much more ram than when it's running relation at 500 hertz which means that in the beginning it may have only enough ram to run one or two instances but as it will continue simulating lower and lower frequencies you will see that the process accelerates and it can run more instances at the same time which means it will produce results faster notice that each numcalc instance runs on only one cpu core so if you don't have enough ram to run multiple instances 
it doesn't matter how many cores your CPU has. If you have 64 gigabytes of RAM and high performance CPU with presumably many cores, then uh, I have seen typical simulations like I am running now finished in three hours. That means you can run perhaps eight instances already at the beginning. Like in the first moment when you launch, it can run eight instances. If you have only 32 gigabytes of RAM or less, most likely you will be running much fewer amount of non-calc instances in parallel and that means your simulation time will be many times slower. Also an important tip, do not ever click like this into this window. Nothing's gonna happen until you press escape. When you press escape it unfreezes and it will work again. So be careful not to click within this window. Because you have two projects, you can easily run one project on one computer and another project on another computer. And you can simulate each project on different operating system, anything. Another thing, in the troubleshooting section, you can see instructions on which files you should check in case something goes wrong. Here is also examples of healthy files in case you have something strange and you would like to look at how does normal simulation log file look like. And also for each of the errors, there are example files of how the log files look like if you have this error. And everybody should understand that you are creating custom files, you are editing custom meshes. There are so many things which can go wrong that it's normal you will encounter some errors. Now you can see that the first two instances have completed and NumCalc Manager continues running the next ones in line. So now we can look at the log file and we see that it ends with end timeline, which means everything is perfect. It can be that the first instances succeed, but then and somewhere in the middle, usually at higher frequencies, for example, instance number 154 fails, even though 160 worked fine. It can happen, but it's not very common. So this was a very long explanation for something which essentially means you need to double click numcockmanager.py file. So thank you for watching and uh, let's see you in the next video as soon as the simulation is done.